Drip is for life. It's my sister, it. Hannah. Now I'm kind of remembering why I stayed out of the snow in the first place because it's pretty miserable. It's been a hot minute since I've taken a real shower. It kind of looks like a petri dish. Last night and this morning, the weather is probably the worst weather I've been in so far. The wind is so bad. It's really hard opening up this door because remember it's blown off before from the wind, so I was being really careful not to let it blow off. Oh, come on, guys. Okay, there you go. But I'm leaving. It's gonna be dangerous to drive in this wind, but I can't stay here all day. Oh my gosh. It's like a river of air. Everybody else is leaving too, I'm not the only one. It's so cold, I'm getting brain freeze. Oh, inside I go. Oh my gosh. Look, there's a straight up dust storm over there. Janelle's having a rough day too. See, everything is covered in dust. And that's not an excuse. I, I just cleaned this a few days ago. Hello? Are we not in the same channel? Seven? Mine's on 19. Oh. I hear ya. You ready to go? Hi guys. So I stopped during my drive in order to make lunch. I don't really know if I, this is the best place to stop because it's covered in snow and freezing. But... I'm up in like the mountain pass and it's just high in that elevation. That's why there's a bunch of snow and I was hungry. So I'm just making some burritos in the air fryer with my friend and then we're going to keep going. But I figured I'd stop here because there's, I feel like this is the last bit of snow I'm going to see for the year. But now I'm kind of remembering why I stayed out of the snow in the first place because it's pretty miserable and freezing. I'm going back inside where the heat is. Yay. Burritos. Oh, that one's bussing. Look yeah, at her. They're ready. The air fryer is great. It allows us to make really quick, easy food. That's also not like fast food the other buy. It's pretty good. Okay. I'm gonna finish this and then head back on the road. Peace. Well, the snow's picked up significantly. So I can't stay up here for too long because I'm not trying to stay. Oh, it's so cold. Isn't it peachy? Let's go back inside, come on. Welcome to Roswell, New Mexico. If that sounds familiar, it's because of aliens. Before we get to doing some cool spooky stuff, I need to do laundry. I have a lot of laundry to get done. I haven't done it in two weeks, and so I'm like almost at the point of turning socks inside out. Yeah, I thought I was out. So I just finished my laundry, and now I'm gonna head to an alien museum, because you can't come to Roswell without doing something alien. Looks like me when I had food poisoning. Imagine just being like this alien, chilling in a bed while there's like all these other aliens around you and your shit is just fucked from the crash. Look at that leg. That's some gangrene working right there. Drip is for life. So I'm going to Bottomless Lake State Park. I was told on the phone that this park had a dump station, but I'm driving around aimlessly and not seeing one anywhere. So that's not good. Because I really need to dump my tanks. Like really, really, really bad. Here we go. Thank goodness. I've been needing to do this for like a week now. Let me tell you, when you can't find a dump station, it makes this type of life so much harder because it's illegal to dump in the woods or like on the ground, obviously, that's just disgusting. So you have no other choice but to find a dump station. But when you can't find one, it makes life 10 times harder. Normally, just to dump your tank, it's about $15. So this place I get to dump and stay the night for just 10. So. It's a steal. Oh, I'm gonna be camping right next to this like really creepy looking lake. It's like bubbles coming out of it. Do you know why these are called bottomless lakes? No, why are they called bottomless lakes? Because it's underground caverns that are flooded. Hey, I found a good spot. You wanna pull in first? Sure. 
it kind of looks like a petri dish just a little bit uh it's obviously some type of like geological activity over here wait whoa that's minerals on top ah oh or maybe it's just like actually i think it's crusty bubbles certainly has a smell to it hey sit sit wait come on I think it's about time for me to take a shower, uh, but I need to turn on my water heater. Doing this with one hand is impossible, so I'm gonna hold you guys with my neck. Okay. I hope you can see what I'm doing. Cool. Since I've been driving the past few days and I'm gonna continue driving the next few days, um, I'm actually going to visit my family in Arkansas, all the way from Arizona, so it's, so it's a long trip and I've been driving a lot every day, so I need to get some type of exercise. So here we go Don't be critiquing my uh, Posture while I'm doing this. Okay, I'm trying my best Ugh. Ugh. Okay, I can't do it anymore. I, I give up Hopefully the water's warm now and I can take a shower What? What do you want? Oh, is it dinner time? The past few days have been really cold, so I've been using my heater a lot, and my water heater's been running too. The sound is my propane tank right now, it whistles. But, okay, this one's almost empty, but I still have this one full, so I'm good for a while. Probably about a week. Cool. Hot. So nice, it's been a hot minute since I've taken a real shower. Normally it's just outside in the cold. Yeah, cool, it's preheating. Cool. Oh, I'll be back. I'm getting the pizza. Ow, my fucking ankle. I knew one of these times wearing my shoes like this would lead to me rolling my ankle. So my freezer is in my friend's truck. We're having pizza for dinner. Oh, my door's bouncing. We just designated his fridge as a freezer and mine as a fridge. So we can keep it double as many things. Delicious, but really freaking hot. Oh my God. I'm standing outside of my campsite and I saw something out of the corner of my eye. What is that in the sky? It's my sister, it? Hannah! Oh, we're doing it now? <laughs> yeah. I thought we were practicing. <laughs> Hi guys, my name's Hannah. I'm Ethan's sister. You already mentioned that part. We are in Texas, close to Dallas. Uh, she's just staying with me overnight. I'm passing through to visit family, so I wanted to see my sister. What do you do, Hana? I am a pilot. Right now, I'm a private pilot. Um, I flew into here today to see Ethan. It was about an hour flight for me. I'm 19. I started when I was 18 doing aviation. Well, that's my little sister. She's gonna be staying with me for the next day, so you guys will see her like, in the background of the video and stuff. I just wanted to introduce her in case you do see her. Oh no, guys. What? You gotta... It was right the first time? Yeah, you gotta rotate it again. Sorry, guys. <laughs> it's not anyone peeing in the background. That's someone pouring stuff into the sink. Okay. Yeah, we're about to have dinner. Snow crab with Old Bay. Salad. And then also a Cajun pasta that's coming on the way that I'll overlay an image of right now. I'm gonna show you guys something ghetto that I do, and this is Hana's first time seeing it too, so she might judge me. <laughs> okay. So this is how... Hana, this is how I crack claws. Hold on. No! <laughs> oh, shit. No, because why do I do that too? So I'm getting the movie set up. I want you guys to see how nice this projector is. American Airlines passenger yelled out about blue-eyed white devils. Okay, interesting. Mm -hmm. Connecting to the speaker. Connected. How do you feel about the movie so far? Um, pretty good. It just started the first three seconds of it. Uh, <laughs> so I don't really have much of an impression. Okay, how do you I've feel about the movie it. projection screen? Oh, I think it's gorgeous. Crystal clear. All you gotta do is keep whining about every little cougar. You still think the world just ends? Come on. Good girl, good morning. Hi, Hana. Hi. How was it? It was pretty good. Yeah, I stayed pretty warm, honestly, and I woke up to a beautiful view. It's a bit short up here, but... Yeah, it's really short in there. It works. Good. Did you stay warm at all? Yeah, I was kind of worried about you. I stayed really warm. You got real cold. Okay. 
Do you want waffles? Close it and then you lock it. Yesterday, Peaches was tied up right here next to my truck and a dog ran on that road over to where these people were camping right there. And Peaches ran so hard that she broke her leash. Where's the end of it? Right here. She broke the leash. This thing is made of metal. It's wrapped in plastic. Then she ran over here, fell into this mud pit, splash, continued chasing the dog over there, and then I got her. Peaches, uh -uh, not again, come on. You ready for fetch? Ah. That's like a must do in the morning because Peaches will lose her ever-loving mind if we don't get her energy out. Hi guys, I'm currently at my other sister's house in Arkansas editing this video, but I forgot I didn't mention that my little sister has a YouTube channel. If you guys want to check that out, she's trying to build it up right now. It's based on aviation. She shows like all of her trips that she takes and all the cool tricks that she's learning and stuff. So if you want to check that out, I'll leave her channel linked in the description and I would really appreciate it if you would check it out and she would as well. But yeah, back to the regular program. Quickly before I go, I just wanna say a big thank you to everybody who supports the channel on Patreon. Thank you guys so very much because of you, I can't speak, because of you, I'm able to continue making content and show you all of the beautiful places that the world has to offer. So thank you so very much. And an extra special thank you goes to Banshee, The Muggle Hut in Frisco, Texas, and Glenn, Caesar Osorio, Jay Redden, Mark Lipman, Robert Swan, Scott Krutz, Brian Butterfield, Michael Posh, Scott Sweaters, and Britt Saunders. Once again, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. If you would like to join, all the information is down below in the description, along with other ways that you can support the channel if you would like. I also have OnlyFans and Instagram link below if you want to check those out. And just one last thing before I go. I want to shout out the Cancer Research Institute. I've been working alongside them for a while now. This is a cause that's close to my heart because my dear friend Millie passed away at the beginning of this year due to cancer. And also I think almost everyone has some type of personal experience when it comes to cancers. And the Cancer Research Institute is awesome because they are researching how to train your own immune system to fight cancer at its source, which is super cool. So they're cutting out all those hard drugs that are hard on your body and radiation and all that kind of stuff, which is helpful, but at the same time, maybe not necessary. So I just think that this is an incredible opportunity to be able to support if you'd like. Um, so once again, the link will be in the description if you wanna send $1, $2, five bucks, whatever. I'm sure that they would greatly appreciate it. But I think that that's all that I have to say. Pretty sure. Peace out. I'll see you guys in my next video. I love you. Bye.